and welcome to another episode of Soul Cooking with Tea. Today we are doing brownies and hopefully you got a chance and an opportunity to see um, the uh, video, earlier video. And what I did was I uh, was talking about the three ingredients that I used in the recipe today was a box of brownie mix, uh, confection of sugar and some blueberries and one thing that I did do uh, in my brownies it uh, make sure you let's say this make sure you cook your brownies according to the packaging uh, and what I've done I've used a cookie sheet and I made my brownies and this is how I got it to be uh, this shape uh, one thing that I did do extra that I didn't talk about earlier I added uh, a half a teaspoon of uh, brandy to my brownies and this is for adult brownies now if you're making them for kids make sure you don't add any alcohol to them and so I've already pre done everything because like I said before I don't like to hold up your time uh, try to make dishes that are quick easy because I understand that everybody uh, works and out of the household and you don't have time sometimes to come home and cook a full and complete meal but today we're talking about brownies and so what I've done is I've already made the brownies uh, and they've come out the oven and remember cook them according to the packaging and so what I've done here is I have different shapes of hearts because remember I said February is the month of love here in soul cooking with tea and so what I've done is I purchased some different shaped hearts uh, from my local 99 cent store and like I said you don't have to spend a lot on different things when you're in the kitchen cooking you can always find things uh, somewhere at a reasonable price uh, and you don't have to spend a lot of money and so that's what I've done I also found my brownie mix uh, to be honest with you I found it at my 99 cent store and so you can find a lot of cooking things at your local 99 cent store but before I get started and making our uh, sweet delight brownies today uh, each time I'm on I always ask that you take this time right now to share our videos with your family and friends uh, no matter where you are in the world we thank you for always taking your time to be on with soul cooking with tea and so uh, on our last video I talked about, uh, I mentioned that I, well, I asked that you uh, shout out where you're from. So this time I want to thank those that uh, were on with me live and those that caught the replay. Uh, Jacqueline Turbo, thank you. She is watching uh, last week from Ohio. Uh, we also like to thank Regina Robinson. She's watching from Maryland. Uh, we also would like to thank Gail Bland Green. She's watching from my hometown, Troy, Alabama. Woohoo! And I would like to thank Joy Grant. She uh, watched us last week from NYC. Latanya Thomas watched us from Tennessee. Uh, Miss Doris Wells watched us from Oxnard, California. Uh, a dear and close friend, a childhood friend that I uh, grew up with in home in Alabama. Her name is Kimberly Von Dix. She uh, watched us from Georgia. Also, uh, someone from my hometown, Kathy White. Yay! Also, uh, Catherine Brund Brundage from Troy, Alabama. Uh, we played basketball together. And she also watched from my hometown of Troy, Alabama. So I thank you. For those that catch that watch us live, those that watch the replay. And so if you're on, I can't see who's with me today live, but I thank you for joining me live. I thank you for those that will catch the replay. And so if you don't mind, some um, drop your name and where you're watching from, and we just might shout you out on our show. So today, like I said, we're making brownies. And so I'm just going to take this size heart right here. And I'm just going to put it in the brownie and I'm just going to mash it in. Just mash it in just like that. <clears throat> just like that. And place it on the plate. So we're going to do another size. I think we'll do just a small one this time so that you can see. I uh, hope that wherever you are watching us today uh, that, you are cold, that you are warm uh, and safe. 
here on the here in Cali. It's kind of warm today, so we're enjoying this warm weather. So I just make a few impressions here. Let's cut it out here. And so and place the hearts on your plate. Let me set my hearts to the side so that you can see exactly what I've done here on the plate. See, I made different three shapes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the confectioner's sugar. And the confectioner's sugar just takes it to a whole new level. You have to be careful with the confectioner's sugar because if you shake it, jump it, flip it, guess what? You'll have sugar everywhere in places, <clears throat> in places that you did not want to have the sugar, you will have sugar. So let me get a spoon so that I can just dust it, lightly dust it like this, just like that. I'm just gonna lightly dust it. So let me move this tray here, just a second. Set it off to the side. And so, let me put it up to the camera. Oh yes, that looks delicious. And just, I took a spoon and just lightly dusted um, the brownie cutouts. Uh, thank you, Maddie Scott, for watching me. I can see now that we have a live viewer. It says we have two. Uh, Denise Richardson, that's my cousin. Thank you so much. She's watching from Alabama. Also, Maddie is, if I'm not mistaken, is watching also from Alabama. So I thank you all, uh, family and friends, and from watching me and coming on with me live. So right here, only thing I've done is I took my uh, hearts and cut out different sizes for the hearts. Like I said, this is a dessert you can have anytime. It just doesn't have to be just for Valentine's. So I've already washed my blueberries. And so I'm just gonna add a few blueberries just for decorations and just to make it look more fancy. So, like I said, I took three ingredients today. I used a pre-packaged brownie mix. I've used confectioner's sugar and I've had some blueberries, sorry. And just a very, very simple dessert. And here is our twist and our simple dessert is brownie cutouts. And I, like I said, I used a pre-packaged of brownies. And only thing that I did add for those that are just coming in, I use just about a teaspoon of brandy to the filling if you're making it for the, for adults, for adults. And if you're making it for children, make sure you leave out the alcohol. So here is our brownie heart desserts for the month of love. We just want to come by uh, and thank you again for being a part of Soul Cooking with Tea. And today, uh, go out and share something with someone else uh, share a meal, just share a word with someone. And I ask that you share our videos out with your family and friends. And again, thank you for being a part of Soul Cooking with Tea. Have a good day.